So Limbo Land started in Byron Bay High School, where we full on theatre was invited to work for two and a half terms with the year 11 drama students. We made a show, which was a really special show because it was based on a lot of true stories and some of the people who were involved in the stories came to the show and they got to meet the young people. We then made a professional version of the show with Aurora, Kurth and myself. And now we've been down in Coffs working, we haven't had that long, we've been working with an amazing group of young people and putting them in the show. And we've got a cast in range from about 11 to 18. So it's really great, they've been helping each other out and uh, with lines and just becoming friends and it's been great to watch. It's a very supportive environment. Limboland is a show that is a way to tell a story but also to make an impact, to make people think about what climate change is, what it is doing to people, how it is affecting people, but also for people to understand that just because there's a new thing to focus on doesn't mean that the effect stops, like the effect goes on for years and people don't just, they don't, they, they're not just okay with it. They need to be addressed and these issues need to be told and focused on because they're making a real impact on our communities. Coffs Harbour youth cast have been outstanding. They're a lot younger than the students at Byron Bay High School, so that age gap was something that I was very aware of when we started. And the, the emotional maturity and the dedication that these young people have shown has just blown me out of the water and their ability to adapt a script that was created by people much older than them in teen years uh, and their, their dedication and determination to just harness it and make it their own and deliver these stories with authenticity has been mind-blowing. Well, in December last year, I was a part of the Rising workshop that was finished just after school. So then I went onto their webpage because I was interested in what they were doing and I saw that they were advertising Limboland and I was like, oh, that looks interesting because they called it a scholarship and I thought, oh, th this could be good to put on a portfolio because I'm interested in continuing on with drama later on. So I thought, oh, yeah. And then I put my name down for that one and then Joel replied saying, oh, we recognise you. Like, we're so happy to have you on because you were great in the workshop. I'm in the orange zone. Straight opposite of me is the red zone and five back. Same freaking street. Same water. How I got involved in Limbo Land was through my wonderful friend Dave Houston, who I've done a number of projects with and who I really admire with his ability to work with youths and really, and that's them in the distance actually, they're about to come in and just explode, full of enthusiasm. Um, but he has a really particularly special way of bringing out stories with these young people. So when he explained to me what the project was, apparently that's Flynn, he's here, he's always going to let us know when he's here. When he explained to me what the project was, I was really excited. The kind of culmination of getting to work with the young people and put them in the show that we'd adapted from another show that young people made. It's the strangest journey that this show has had. But when he presented me with the whole project, I was just really excited to be a part of it. It's very meaningful to me because I've actually been um, hit by a natural disaster. I was actually involved in the 2021 hailstorm. I lost my house. Yeah, I lost a lot, we had to move a lot. But the main bit I really enjoy about the, um, sh the show is definitely the, um, how it's very sad, but there's just a few laughs, which I really like. What about you? Do you want to volunteer? Me? Nah, I'm too busy. Yeah, busy bullshitting. Piss off, Carol! I've never been busier! Pretty sure Mum just found a post on Facebook and yeah, my friend Naya, she um, encouraged me to do it. To me, it's like expressing all these amazing true stories with the public and educating them and just like making people's voices heard. G'day, my name's Ryan. G'day, my name's Ryan. 
I've been in a few different theatre companies and I've performed in big audiences before, some here at the Jetty Theatre. And I thought it was great. It was really, it's always really fun performing in an audience. In this play that we just did now, this show, I felt like yesterday was like a big tech day. So we were sorting out all of these kinks and stuff. And that was kind of annoying because we were doing a play for four hours. And then, um, but today I felt like we flew through it. So that was, that was really good. When I first find out, I know about this cast. So far, I just won't do this Venus show. So I want to do first. Well, the show is my very first show, but that's him here. And it's amazing to be here in this cast. I think it's about coming in love and coming out. And say it's about storms or the drama against lovely. Oh, well, the country, young people's voices again be heard. It's definitely well my ones. It's definitely the part my Stephanie about to end our show is amazing. There's many things you would see in the show is amazing. <laughs> So the kids have really stepped up in the last few days and just noticing that their commitment has been there the whole way. We haven't had to do any crowd control, which is really unusual for working in a theatre program because there's, there's so much stuff happening and you, you're asking the kids to, to play and enjoy themselves so it can get pretty rowdy sometimes. But uh, yeah, these kids have just been a pleasure to work with. Um, they've been really encouraging. They've encouraged me and they like do very good constructive criticism. Like they'll tell us to do something and then they'll be like, all right, I need you to give a bit more, have a good crack at it. So we really get what they're trying to make us show in our different scenes. So when we started, we noticed that they, uh, some of the group, probably the majority of the group have worked together before. A lot of, if not all of these young people have performed on stage before. Many of them have done multiple musicals. And so because of that theatre scene here, a lot of them knew each other already and they already had uh, a bit of a bond going on that gets formed with those sorts of projects. But we have created a very different show and what we've asked of them has been different. And it's been really incredible to watch them grow as performers and the feedback that we've been receiving from them has been what's probably been the most heartwarming for me. Uh, a, a few of them have approached us and thanked us individually for what we've been teaching them and the things that they've come away with. I guess just, it's probably highlighting the difference from the scholarship program that we've presented as opposed to just a community theatre production. And I say just a community theatre production, it's where I learned everything that I know and it means everything to me. And they're so much fun, but they happen so quickly. And I, I feel that there's not the time to go as deeply in them as we've been able to with this project. So it's been really incredible watching them each grow as individual performers and watching them come together and work together as a unit to put this show on. We are now marching to Harbour Drive. What do we want? Climate action! When do we want it? Now! What do we want? Climate action! When do we want it? Now! I love working with kids. This, this bit has been such a joy. They just I sort of I've fallen in love with them all. Yeah, they're, um, when I first met them, when they came to see Dave and I, when we did the two-hander version of this show, and they were all at the front of the stage, just so excited. And I just looked at them, I said, oh, my favorite people, it's the theater misfits. And they just laughed because we kind of, we get each other. It's a community and we're, um, it doesn't matter what shape or size or um, what type of personality you have, whether you're extroverted or introverted or, um, yeah, what, what, you, what you like or you don't like, there's something that, there's a camaraderie in, within theatre. We sort of take you as you come. Good boy, Sparky! Drop it! Drop it! Good boy!
emergency alert. Please stay near your phone to receive important bushfire updates. I played Mel, and when I first watched it, because Rory played Mel, I was like on my seat the whole time, like, oh my God, is she gonna find the dog? Is the dog gonna be safe and all this stuff? So I was really happy that I could play that and like make the audience feel like relief kind of when I do find, well, when Sparky is found. Mel, Mel, they found Sparky. They found him, Sparky, let's go, let's go, let's go. I love performing. It's always, you know, you get the nerves and then, but it's always been nervous excitement for me. They're all so lovely and such great directors and they give direction that makes it so easy to follow. So it's always like such a, just a joy to come and do rehearsal and perform with them. There's not a whole lot of opportunity for drama, especially theatre. So when there's a project like this, it's so important to jump hold. I love theatre, I love doing it. Telling stories like this one of natural disasters, I feel like we have a very regional take on the natural disaster story in a way that, I feel as though we tell this story in a way that kids from the city might not because Natural disasters and crises affect us differently. And I think it's really important to tell that story because often we don't just don't get to. Oh, can I help you? You got the words right, mate. That's the main thing. All right, now tomorrow we're gonna to look at recruitment. But for now, I want you to scan through the operations manual. That's color coded and you need to be familiar with every single chapter. It's really important because it makes it not only real to the audience, but real to us. Because we do it and then it's like, that really happened to someone. And even if you didn't live through it, it you can like feel what it was like. And if you did, then it's like, it's your story being told. It's an honor to be able to share the stories. Cause these are like, this is what happens to real people. And these stories like are real and it's happened to people and yeah, I think it's just amazing that I get to share that with the audience. It's been a great experience with all the cast members, all the different acting. Yeah, it's just been an amazing experience. And like, if anyone's interested, they should be able to do it. It's made me more connected with, yeah, the disasters and how they've affected people in this country, even in towns nearby. And it's made me understand, yeah, gain a greater understanding of what it felt like to experience these things. Oh, it's been fantastic. Everyone gets along so well. I feel like I have a whole bunch more younger siblings now because we just get on so well. There's hugs and there's jokes and there's um, one-liners and you know, there's Flynn, can you be quiet or I'll slap you, but then we go in for a hug. So it's really, really awesome the way we all get along so fantastically, like a giant family, really. It's so worth it when you look at how many lives this has touched, not just with the cast members on stage and what they get out of it, but with their family. We've had a few parents come in and, and um, thank us for coming down, noting the difference of how we teach to how they've been taught in the past and how we direct and something that uh, I know Dave and I always, uh, and Aurora always recommends to our students is to go out there and experience learning through as many different mentors as you can find. And you take the little nuggets that work for you and you implement them in your craft. And that's very difficult to do if you're out in regional or rural areas and still in school. So us being able to bring it to them has been really wonderful. I think with young people, they're going through a really difficult time, um, especially in regarding to the climate, with what they're faced with, with social media, with all the technology around them. So it's really great to come back to a story and come back to the simple form of, of storytelling and of acting and communicating to an audience. I was really honoured to be able to play and tell this story, but I also connected and related with Brooke because we lost my, I lost my grandma's piano in the storm. And so I just, being able to know that other people lost things that were really important to them as well, was just really, it was really like nice to know that I wasn't alone in my experiences. Theatre is an amazing art form for gathering stories. You don't need a big budget. You can just imagine certain scenarios and it can really 
pull the community together. So part of the passion for this project is, is recovery from traumatic situations and how do we rebuild and how do we move on? So for me personally, in my own personal life, art has been a big uh, factor in me moving forward with any mental health struggles and journeys. And I can just, I've been in enough communities now where I can see how powerful art is to reflect, reflect stories um, that can come out in theater, in music, in film, in storytelling. And I think that for me, that gives me a buzz and, and it's amazing to see it in a community space where it's more than just the individual, where it's collective. And I just want to reflect back that stories are with people feeling them and going, yeah, that's that happened to us, that was full on. No wonder why I feel a bit sad or down or I've had PSD or whatever. It's That is a big story that I went through and it's healing. And one of my favorite comments was a, a very sort of blokey bloke came up to me afterwards and he said, mate, I had a cry, but it was a good cry. And I just thought, yes, that's brilliant. You know, that's, that's the reaction we wanted from our shows. I think it's really important for school student ages especially to be able to do this kind of thing, but also experience and learn about like climate change, but natural disasters, because it's us that are be going, being, going to be growing up trying to fight climate change and we're getting the blunt end of the stick. We're getting the worst of the worst of the of nature. And it's really important for us to be able to tell our stories, but other people's stories, because it, it's real. It's it's a thing that we're going through, not just it's not just a thing of the of the future. It's happening now. And yeah, I think that's just really important. I thought it was really good because you could um, you could take it from the real world, the real the real world of stuff that you have experienced. I think it was really interesting and funny, and I really thought it was very like like deep into people's lives and yeah I recommend going to it, it's really good. Uh, so I'm Jeff but this is Di Idol. Um we live in Tormina. Uh, when the house storm hit we actually, our carport fell on our roof, destroyed our car, we had rain all coming through the house uh, and basically within two days we were told that we lost everything we own, um, all our contents, we lost our house and it's been a two and a half year battle to um, get everything back and sorted. Um, one of the hardest days, to be honest, was probably day four when we got the kids to go back in the house and try and get something out of the house that was their personal possession, which is probably one of the toughest. Um, this play for us is extremely special. One of the biggest stories in this play is about the lady's piano. Oh, and uh, my mum was given a piano on the 21st and we lost mum three months before the storm and unfortunately we lost her piano. We lost everything of my parents, all their possessions. And I think that's one of the biggest stories out of this play that resonates with us. I definitely our three children actually performed in the land. So we feel it was very healing for them to be able to deal with their grief and their feelings um, through their craft of drama. Um, and our daughter who portrayed the lady who lost her piano, I don't know how she held it together um, so well, but even just listening to it, and the, when they were breaking up the furniture with the chains, and, um, so that's exactly what happened to our things. Um, and it's really hard to take. It's very personal. I think well, there's a lot of kids here who have experienced the hail damage that we've had, so it's actually probably very healing for them um, in this play. So it's been great for them, I think, as a process, let alone just the acting. Hello, it's Marg here, and I've just been to the fabulous Bimbo Land. I uh, just wanted to say how totally inspired I am by our young um, people. Uh, they know what's happening with climate change. They've showed it here tonight. Uh, the passion and enthusiasm, it makes me think, um, I like that our future is in safe hands uh, with all these, you know, informative and educational discussions that was happening today. 
and um, I implore Murat, Murat, my mate, come and fund, you know, more productions like this for the Department of Education. This is real. This is, um, it's a, what's that word? Um, oh, God. <laughs> uh, learning in action. And, um, you know, all the lessons, it's just, um, you know, they just, the they flow on effect from everything that we've learned today by, you know, with these students, it's just been amazing. So, uh, thank you and great, great work, all the kids that were in that. Uh, after watching tonight's performance in Berlin, I really feel like there should be now opportunities for young people to express um, these really heavy ideas through the arts. It was just really incredible to see the arts. It incorporated drama, it incorporated poetry, it incorporated song. So yeah, I really highly recommend this performance and I really hope to see more of this in the future. Thank you so much for watching History. It's the first full run we've done with everything. So, incredible effort. Don't wanna be fearful of tomorrow and don't wanna pay for what's done in the past through floods and through flames we Build a future We'll find a home In limbo to go back to no break from the sky were we born to be bleeding do we bleed from desire smokes on the Find a home.